Hello and welcome back to another Dee Dee Mitten video. Today I'm going to do a quick video on Reddit sliders shedding their scoots, what the process is and why they do that. So right here you can see Mr Turtle is going through a scoot shedding phase. I've had him for five years and this is the second time he shed his scoots in those five years. He shed them when I first got him and now five years later he's going through another shed. This is perfectly natural for turtles especially when they go through a growth spurt. Mr Turtle has grown another inch in the time that I've had him so shedding his scoots has actually been long overdue. So the turtle shell actually contains 60 bones but these little scoots along the top of his shell are actually made of keratin which is the same thing in your fingernails and that's to protect the bones and the innards of your turtle. Now when the turtle is shedding healthily they should be coming off slowly and in one piece. Right here you can see that some have already come off and some others are also in the process of peeling. They should be thin in one piece and slightly translucent when you hold them up to the light which these are. You should never force this scoot shedding, you should never peel them off or pick at them. You need to let these fall off in their own time because the shell underneath could end up becoming damaged if you force them off. So it's good to just leave your turtle alone and let these do these naturally. They should also be coming off in one piece as well, not in chips and bits. If they're chipping and coming off in pieces, that could indicate a problem with the turtle shell. So as you can see, these are coming off in large whole scoots. So as you can see from this angle, you can see where his shell is peeling and where he has all the healthy shell underneath. If the turtle shell underneath looks healthy, then everything everything's going well. If you're seeing any pink or red or white spots on your turtle shell or any soft spots or sometimes even bone exposed underneath then that indicates some serious shell issues and your turtle will need to go to the vet. So as long as the shell looks healthy underneath, there's no weird red spots, pink spots or soft spots, then everything should be fine. As well as the shedding that is occurring on his carapace right now, sometimes the plastron, which is the underneath of the shell, can also shed their scoops. So if you're finding pieces of shell in the tank that is from his belly, or you can see that some of the scoops from underneath are shedding, that's also perfectly normal. Just again, make sure there's no pink or red spots or any soft spots. When you does shed his scoops and you find them in the tank, it's good to remove them because sometimes turtles can have a tendency of trying to eat them. I hope you found this informative. If you have a red eared slider, scoot shedding is normal to happen once in a while, especially when they're growing. And like I said, as long as they're coming off in clear translucent pieces and there's no pink or red underneath, it's just healthy shell that's left, then your turtle is healthy and everything is going well. If you do notice anything abnormal, then it's best to take your turtle to a good herb. It, just to make sure there's no shell rot or metabolic bone disease or infection. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions regarding this, please leave me a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more turtle information videos and for more of this cute guy. Mr Turtle is also on Instagram at instagram.com forward slash Mr Turtle IG. He's also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash DD Mitten and you can also follow him on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash DD Mitten. I hope you and your turtle are happy and healthy and I'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye Mr Turtles. <laughs> he wants to be left alone. <laughs> Bye.